Good morning, everyone. I just wanted to give you guys a quick kind of rundown on this door. I know a lot of people have a lot of questions, so I'll try to cover everything that people have asked, but here we go. I'll just jump right in. First of all, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all the compliments and the fact that I get to inspire you makes it all worth it. So I want to show you up close. You get to see it from far away. So when you see these transfers, that's a whole bunch of them. I'm going to show you what they look like. So when you order a transfer, they come like this in a tube. So that picture you see right there is you can apply it just like that and it would look amazing. And I'll show you. So here's what it does. See, they'll come in like three pages. The perfect part is they have these lines. So you're able to actually line them up and place them exactly the way you want them. If you want them to look just like the picture. So then it comes with this little stick right here and the back, when you lift it up off of the paper, this is kind of sticky. So it's perfect to just sit where you want and then you use this little stick, you take the white backing off, you lay it where you want and you just rub and it'll start to stick to the paper. Be patient, I mean, it'll start to stick to your project, but be patient because sometimes it takes a little bit of force to get it on there. A lot of people use a tool that you can buy to put these on this comes with it and honestly i have the tool and it doesn't seem like it works as well for me um, i've always used um, a wooden spoon too so you can use this or even a kitchen spoon a kitchen wooden spoon but like i said you just keep constant pressure and rub it and then you just start to peel the clear piece off and it will stick what makes mine so different is see how this comes with all this lettering I actually cut all these flowers out individually and cut the lettering out. I cut everything out when I get it and I put it all in a big folder. See this big mess in here? This mess is full of extras and pieces because I use them all together or if I need a filler because I have a spot, that's what I do. So that's why I cut them all out to get a different look. So I will show you up close where you can tell that I've used a different one. And I do want to show you these right here. These right here are transfers from Dollar Tree. Yes, they are. You can find transfers. You just have to make sure that it says rub on transfer because at Dollar Tree, you'll have some that look like transfers, but they're actually stickers. So the reason I get these is because I love all these little flowers and I will cut these out just for fillers also. So I'm just gonna try to show you. Now this is a gold version, but I had this in black because you can see if you look really, really close, this is not this from the same manufacturer as this one. These are not the same manufacturer. They're from a completely different set. This is from a different set. Uh, these are from a different set. There I added this. This one is different. I'm trying to find all the different ones. All these are different. These are different. So when I cut these out, I will say this section right here, I didn't cut out individually. They did come like that because I knew I wanted them closer to the metal. So the lot of the rest of them, I did add extras. And you'll see that all these down here are all from different ones. So I love adding ones from different groups just because you get the look you want. And you can keep adding. It doesn't matter. It's your door or your project. You can put it however you want. If you cut a piece and it has a flat square edge because you've cut a straight line, then those are the ones that I use on the edge. If I happen to like it, I'll put it somewhere else. Like if you look really close, I overlaid like two or three right in here because they were cut weird. But when you put them together, they look good. I'm going to show you when I open this door, you can kind of see the gold, the gold leafing I put in on the edging. Gold leafing is fun, but it's messy. But see, as you can tell, these right here, I had cut straight and I didn't like how they looked. 
on some of the edges. Look, see how this one is cut straight because I had cut it off of another one, but I just intermingled it with these, added these on top. So you don't notice it when you pull it away. This flower I had put on here by itself and it came from another group. So as you can tell, I probably have extras all over this. The gold leaf leafing, I don't know if you've ever used it, but it takes this water-based adhesive, you mix it with a little water in a little cup, and you paint this wherever you want this to be. So if you want gold leafing on an edge, you would put it, you would just paint it on there, let it sit for probably about 15 minutes, and then you would lay a gold leaf sheet on it, press it on, and then you would use a brush and just, you could use a brush and you would just go like this and wherever you painted the glue, it would stay. And that's how you get the little gold leaf edging. Oh, let me tell you something about a brush real quick. This is a brand new one. Brushes are very expensive. Years ago when I started painting, I would always buy the cheap brushes because I didn't think it really mattered, but it does. This one really matters. Uh, this is a Wooster Pro. I'm, I don't know any brands, but I know that this was an expensive one from Lowe's and I absolutely love it. That's why I bought a second one. It's angled and it's really good for getting in these little tight corners. And I will tell you, if you have a panel door, make sure when you paint it you do all the insets first paint those first so then when you go back and paint the door you're doing good if you want to do a two-tone paint the whole door the color the light color and then wherever you want the dark color paint it now if you'll look really close I dry brushed the dark color so you can see right here see how it's dry brushed so I painted it till probably around here and as you can see, I went down and then I dry brushed just the edge. I came back when the paint was almost dry, used a dry brush and just blended it up. And I did that because I thought, well, even in places where you can see, it would still kind of look cool and vintage. So that was my reasoning for that. Now, everybody always asks about sealer. Sealer is like the most important. If your door is already painted and you are putting the transfers on the door, all you will have to do is you can use just this wax, Howard Premium Paste Wax, and get a brush like this. Seriously, you can get this at Walmart. I think that's where I got this one. But it's fantastic. I only use it for waxing, so I don't have to like really wash the wax out of it. But when you wax it, these little tiny brushes will get all in these little tiny corners and really drive the wax in. And then it will make sure and coat all the edges. As you can tell, this is totally smooth. But I will tell you, before wax, wax is always the last step. A lot of people will tell you, there's a lot of people on YouTube, everybody has the way they do it. I personally always polyurethane or polyacrylic, period, and then wax last. My Here is the polyacrylic. I use it in water-based because most of my paint is a regular latex. Now, I will tell you, the bottom part of this door, I did in chalk paint. So you can do a water-based poly over chalk paint too. If you use an oil-based paint, you need to use either an oil-based polyacrylic or a polyurethane. Honestly, you only need to use polyurethane when you're doing an exterior door because it's super durable. I know even the manufacturers say that you don't need to use more than two coats, but I'm telling you, when I do a door that's exterior, I always use three coats. I will sand in between each coat with a sanding pad and you can buy those on Amazon. Send me a message, I'll send you the link. They're awesome because they're almost like a, instead of it being just a sheet of sand, it's like a sheet of sandpaper on a sponge and you can even wet it and it turns into like a rag. But you always sand 220 grit, 240 grit in between each layer of your sealer. Follow the instructions for whichever kind you buy. Personally, I like these. Um, and you can uh, follow the instructions for the curing time. I always let mine cure at least 48 hours to a week. I know that sounds like a long time, but depends on your weather, if you're doing it in the garage, if it's humid, you just wanna make sure that it's really dry and cured before you seal it. Once you've sealed it, then you let the polyurethane or polyacrylic dry 
and I'm not even sure. I think it says 48 hours to a week also, depending on the weather, but just read the can and we'll tell you. And then I always wax on top of it. I always do. Even if you're just doing the transfers, you can do just wax, not have to polyurethane or polyacrylic. You can use just the wax and it will seal it fine. Personally, this is the guest bedroom door, so it probably won't get a lot of use. So I could have just used wax over it. But the thing is, is I go in and out of that room because as we all know, our guest bedrooms usually have just a lot of storage stuff. So right now, mine is full of pictures. So I haven't decided where I'm gonna put them yet. So my door gets a lot of use. And Let's see, I think I have tried to cover absolutely everything. I will tell you uh, one more thing about the brushes. If you're gonna use chalk paint, I love these brushes for big areas. So um, this uh, this is an abnormally large one. I think this is a three or four inch, three or four inch one. Uh, I get it on Amazon. Uh, it's just really good with chalk paint because of all the bristles. And when I was doing my dry painting, it was really easy to just pull it up because it wasn't all the way dry. You don't have to use a round brush, but if you're gonna use chalk paint, the round brushes are great. I know that there's like Dixie Bell and all those. If you are looking for the decals online, I think I've told a lot of people, look on Etsy, look on Amazon. But you know, I keep forgetting to tell everybody, they have a ton of furniture transfers on eBay too, and they're pretty reasonable. Don't count out the kind of no-name brand ones that are like the little ones or even like the ones at Dollar Tree because you can use them as fillers. They are perfect for that. And this one I hear was one of my favorites because I put these like all over these little places and they were literally from the Dollar Tree, but they were the same color scheme and it worked. So I hope that helps everybody and I hope you have a great day. I do have a new door already getting ready. It's laying there waiting for me. So I'm going to get started on that. So I can't wait to show it to you guys. Remember, if you have any questions, feel free to PM me and have a great day. Talk to you soon.